Everyone recognizes that Canada has a huge opportunity here. And we have likely, I can't say because I, I don't know the proven pro uh, probable numbers, but likely there's a, an awful lot of mining minerals and metals that we need in Canada. It's just we've been kind of handcuffed for, for years. But, mm -hmm. I, you know, it's I think it speaks to the excitement that people like we want to find something here. Um, and then the people who have the property, they're holding that. They're like, well, we have it. So you know, price, the price is hot right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm seeing a lot of companies just, again, they're, they're staking ground based on marketability and instead yeah. of prospectivity. And I, I don't know if it's intentional or not. I, I truly don't know if it's okay. Is this a management team that knows what they're doing or is it a management team that's just out to market their, their story and, you know, and that, it's dump their shell, right? It's it's tough. I mean, we talk pretty openly uh, about that type of thing. Is that there's a lot of lifestyle companies, um, and mm -hmm. you can you would have no problem finding them pretty quickly. I'm not so bad at them myself, but it, that's what's kind of hindered uh, a lot of the growth in the market. Say for years, is that people know that that goes on. My counter yeah. to that is that I mean, look at the crypto space. I mean. <laughs> 90% of that is pump and dump. It's not real. Yeah. Not only is it not real, it, it doesn't even do what it says it's going to do. Uh, and, and very few people pick on that. But so it is a buyer beware market. But this is this is why we're grateful to have you because you can give us some more uh, tidbits of things to look at too for, for the, the average investor or someone who's really excited about getting into this uh, and doesn't also want to get into the saturated, well, I'll buy mm -hmm. a PW or I'll buy a battery maker. It's like, well, they've got 50 million other projects and sub companies how much exposure do you actually have to it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I'd say another thing is, you know, investors can get a hold of management usually, you know, if especially management is responsive, right? Like it's uh, so, some of them are, to me, it's a red flag if you can't get a hold of them at all after trying, right? Like I get it. People are busy. Oftentimes I'm, I'm way too busy to pick up my phone, but uh, they got to get back to you. And, and when, whenever you do talk to them, you know, pick their brain on lithium. You know, test them out, uh, see if they actually know what they're talking about here. That or, is, right. you know, are they? Did they come from the crypto space before, or the, <laughs> the cannabis space? Because maybe that's that's an instant no from for certain people. And I, I don't mean to shit on no. on these uh, these companies, by the way. You know, and and these types of management teams, because there's a lot of good people that I've met that did come from any kind of high growth sector who are doing honest work. Um, but there's also a lot of people out there that are, again, in this for the short run, in this to in this just because the space is hot. Yeah, um, I, I think and maybe you'll agree is that like you could have someone who's earnest, uh, maybe came from a different sector, who's kind of maybe uh, business development or they're the co-founder, mm -hmm. but they've attracted like a, a geo where you're like, whoa, OK, so that's, you know, if, if they can assemble the team. I think that speaks highly, uh, not just on the the uh, the finance and capital structure size and raising money side, but if they can attract like a geo that goes, I understand this. This is the thesis. Uh, there's a lot more wiggle room for maybe the the board being as spectacular as it could be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And speaking of that, you know, like the the geologists in Canada, most of them don't have any lithium expertise. Most of them have never walked along a pegmatite before. And yes. so, so that's something to keep in mind is that because lithium exploration is very new, there's a lack of talent out there. And a lot of people are, are a lot of people are hiring geologists that came from another space. And that's that's OK. You got to do what you have to do. Um, you know, like uh, our, our vice president of exploration, Ben, you know, he spent most of his career in gold. And that's that's OK. We're lucky that he actually does have pegmatite experience and has modeled lithium deposits before. But it's it's just something to to keep in mind is that Canada compared to Australia, we're really lacking on uh, lithium expertise. That's another great uh, highlight as well. I, I mean, it, it, and like you said, people just weren't they didn't care. They weren't looking for it. It's kind of you know when you see like the vanadium story, they're like, oh, we've got this vanadium in here, just throw it out, put it in the sludge. We don't care uh, mm -hmm. until such times it becomes that. Oh man, now we care. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what are, are the, yeah, to wrap this up, because I mean, we've taken a lot of your time and and we really appreciate it. Is there anything else you'd want to leave with people to kind of consider? I mean, a lot of people are, 
are, are, are they're sitting on the sidelines still waiting, but I think that they, they know they're, or at least they're putting it together that, 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 that there is this need to have a, a full supply chain uh, answered and, and addressed. Mm -hmm. I guess one thing that, you know, I like to leave investors with is that are, that are kind of on the sidelines, but the whole lithium space, um, you know, a lot of people think that they miss the opportunity and I argue that, you know, we, you haven't missed anything, you know, lithium, like it or not, this is a new metal, but it's here to stay. Lithium ion batteries aren't going anywhere. We, we simply don't have enough of it uh, to keep up with demand. And while that might slow down, you know, this whole drive to electrification, if, if there is a resource bottleneck, I think it'll, it won't remove demand. It'll just prolong this call it a, bull, a structural deficit in the lithium space. So I don't, I don't think you've missed anything yet. And I think that, uh, you know, the worst is yet to happen in terms of the, the structural deficit. I don't know if prices will ever go as high as they were last November. That was insane. Yeah. Um, but I think we're going to be disconnected from the cost curve for yeah. a long time. And I think we're going to continue being disconnected into the 2030s. So the opportunity is still there. You haven't missed the boat. I guess that's one of the benefits of having such like a long life cycle to get to anywhere significant is if someone hits stellar numbers, say they're, they've been running for a year and then six months down the road, it becomes a priority very quickly. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, does, it doesn't matter how long you've been working on a project or you advanced it. If, if, it, if you become a, a grades like a, pat, a Patriot battery metal, you're going to get the attention that you want and need for people to go, we need to get this to production or to someplace quicker than an, another project they may be looking at two months earlier. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. And if anyone wants to get in touch with me, um, you know, I have uh, my email is kkushner at librelithium.com. Don't hesitate. And uh, happy to walk anyone through the Libra story and what it is we're doing. I really, I really appreciate that. And I'll reiterate that, that uh, you're a big fan of educating people. And I think that's what's critical, not only from our perspective, but hopefully the government will get on board too and, and kind of say, listen, we can we can do this correctly and we can do it within regulations. Uh, and once the public, I think, feels more comfortable with that, uh, since they desperately want this electric future, uh, yeah. that if we can just kind of get that from top down, uh, that gives a lot more opportunity for a retail investor to get excited and say, you know what, I'm going to put some money in this R&D side in, in the, the development of the, the mining side, because that's the heart of all of this. Uh, and the mm -hmm. sooner we can get there, the better. So I appreciate you, uh, A, making the time to speak to me and to our subscribers, but to, to put your own self out to speak to people individually as well. For sure. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks, Kobe. Take care. Mm -hmm.